Well, there you go, guys. There you go. Oh, the Captain Blue I, I probably I delivered, what, six, seven? Quality. I mean quality. Top notch. I'm telling you, you ain't going to get any better than that. I mean, that is, that's boomerlicious stuff right there. If you're a boomer, you've got to be, uh, you know, boomerlicious in it. Uh, something like that. I mean, because it is. That's, uh, I don't know, but, but seriously. Uh, um, you know, if you can't, if, if you can't get into some of the music, some of the music we had is just, I'm telling you, to me, it's just magical. I get goosebumps listening to a lot of this stuff, and that's why I do it. Uh, because I just, uh, without a doubt, there is no doubt in, in in most people's mind that the Boomers, we uh, we had so many great things going for us. And boy, I'll tell you, uh, I really feel sorry for a lot of, for some people's younger generations. Uh, I mean it. <laughs> the magical time we had. Uh, you know, I, I I grew up in the fifties and early sixties and stuff, and I came from a, my dad was a schizophrenic alcoholic and stuff and and uh now i'm not you know i'm not trying to you know anybody feel oh you poor and whatever no it's but i'm just telling you what, what what it's about and and what's going on nowadays and i'm telling you um yeah my dad used to come home beat everybody up and uh, cops were out all the time and but back then you know they not much they could do they put him in a drunk tank for a night but that was it and then he come back uh the next day and uh well, we had some fun times driving to the liquor store, though, as kids. He used to back us in the back seat in the 53 Chevy. And, man, I'm telling you, oh, yeah, you want to talk about a ride? Oh, oh, oh man. Yeah, I should have sold some goddamn tickets, I tell you. Anyway, and then there was times when he chased you around the house and wanted to kill you and threaten you. And then he beats, uh, you know, people up and stuff, and it was bad. He, you know, kicked my mom in the face and stomach and put cigarettes out, butts out on her lips. And, but that was, you know, hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, and you make the you make the best of what you got, and what and that's and I'll tell you what I'm getting at, gang, is just through all this, and I was sent to Vietnam at eight, just turned 19. I just turned 19. It was in January, and I just turned 19. And I'm telling you, it wasn't for music and my guitar. Uh, I don't think I'd be having talking, having this little podcast right now. I really don't. Because if it wasn't for music, got me through the times at home, and yeah, I had my little rock band. Didn't we all have rock bands, guys, back then? Yeah, little rock and roll bands, garage bands. Oh man, I, that's why I still love to sing. And I'm sure you heard me sing. I'm, you know, I, I can't help it. I just love to sing. And um, I hope my singing was still okay, was okay for you. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just get carried away. And, I got us. I got sidetracked. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is, even now, to what's going on nowadays, guys? I'm telling you, huh, if you've got music, you've got a sense of humor. You know, you've got a lot going for you. You got a, uh, you know, and that's it. That's why I do this. I love to get a few people to have a few chuckles with me and stuff like that. There, you know, yeah. Oh my God, not that, Bob. Quit using a, f yeah. He he thinks he's smart because he uses a fart button. You know. Yeah, but, yeah, see, listen, see, disgusting, disgusting, who the hell let you into the studio tonight anyway, oh my god, let's get back to something ha halfway normal here, shall we, yeah, how about Rodney Dangerfield, come on Rod. Hey, how you doing, good, Rod? I'll tell you, we want, uh, the group here, we want uh, two pitchers of beer, we want one every seven minutes until no, somebody passes out, and beer. then after that, give us one every five minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Come on. That's a little much, buddy. Anyway, we're going <laughs> to... Captain Boomer's... Uh, Captain Boomer's podcast has always been and always will be a um, military appreciation station. Um, for all the guys and gals out there, God bless you guys for what you do. For all that you do for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll always, uh, at least as long as I'm doing this, I'm always going to mention the fact that, uh, yeah, the military, you guys are, are greatly appreciated. I personally know what it's like to, uh, not to have people give a shit about you when you think you actually might have done something, you accomplished something with your young life. Um, yeah. But anyway, oh, I was going to get, yeah, I had, I think I had six hours notice 
out of book, uh, when I got back from Berkeley that I was going to Vietnam. And I'll tell you one thing, uh, yeah, if that won't uh, screw your, long, your young life up, I don't know what would. But anyway, uh, there again, it was music. Oh, all right, it was a few. Oh, okay, I had a few hits, all right. <laughs> Give me another cigarette, will ya? <coughs> Rock, give me another smoke, will ya? Hey, yo. Hey, little, you know, Mick, you're not supposed to be smoking, you know what I mean? And you know, Dr. Lance Boyle, he told you, no more smoking, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, Rock, give me another smoke, will ya? <laughs> Come on, Rocky! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You know, no matter how you want to spin this thing for us boomers, it is. We've had, and I do, I really do feel, I, I, I feel, I feel sorry for a lot of the younger generations. And my sons, are, I got three sons, uh, and they're, um, and I really feel sorry for the younger generations that they, they couldn't experience what we had growing up, what we did, and what we, uh, oh wow. It is, it's, it's amazing. Anyway, so we're gonna be signing off here. The East Coast to the West Coast. And by the way, I gotta give myself another plug because nobody else will. All right, that's all right. Yeah, my meds are doing fine. Yeah, I got my meds out there. Dog Frank wires, they sent me this last go around. I don't know. I keep, I keep wanting to lift my leg and take a leak. I, I don't get it. But anyway, yeah. Anyways, this portion of Captain Boomers. Podcast show has been brought to you by the none other than the amazing Winnie Genie. Yeah, guys, I'm telling you, you're having trouble down below the waist. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about your kneecaps. Uh, you betcha. And you, the dysfunctional area, yep, you know exactly where we're talking about. I'll tell you, you got to check out Dr. Lance Boyle's amazing new Winnie Genie. It is, oh yeah, it blows, it, it blows uh, Viagra out of the water. Although, uh, Viagra is a good product, don't get me wrong. But uh, this amazing Winnie Genie, you guys check it out. Yep, and their motto is, even a hard day is a good day with the Winnie Genie. There you go, you have it, you heard it here first, and you only hear it, heard it. You don't only hear it here, how's that? <laughs> yeah, you gotta love it. Yeah, Three Chord Kenny, he's going to be coming and playing some of his uh, stuff. He's got a lot of original tunes. Oh, yeah. Like Slap Her Down Again, Paw. Yeah, More Tires and Teeth. Oh, you betcha. Them are some big ones. Yeah. And he'll be talking about Boomer, uh, Boomerville. Boomerville is a place where Captain Boomer came up with here all about five years ago. And I, I want to get all boomers to just pack up because you can have what's left of this country. And we're going to pack it up and we're going to move out west and we're going to take over about five, six states. I figure there's 74 million of us, whatever. We can have our own government, our own law enforcement, our own military, our own uh, everything. You know, we can have it. Start up our own our whole new country out there and it's going to be called Boomerville. Yeah, and it's going to be dynamite. Yeah. Well, half a whole state, half of Utah or something is just going to be, we're going to grow on our own uh, Mary Chain. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's going to be dynamite. Anyway, so if you think you might want to learn more about that, uh, give us a call down here. Get a hold of my people down here at the old uh, Cat and Boomers podcast. You betcha. Anyway, so we're going to be signing off. And what's this? Oh, yeah, I already told you about peeping Tom. Yeah, I want to be peeped. Oh, who wouldn't? Anyways. <laughs> and the other day was National Boomers Day. And it was also, last week, it was National Remembrance Day for this, us boomers. And that's simply put, that that means us boomers, we try to remember any goddamn thing. <laughs> right? You betcha. Hey, God bless you guys. Captain Boomers will be signing off now. All right, have yourself a... Good Wednesday evening. Oh, I forgot to say, it is hump day. At our age, we just, hey, if you guys can find anything worth humping out there, hey, have at it. God bless you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs>